Since the whole J-Hole incident went down, a lot of people have been concerned about how safe Cheat Breaker is. Today I'm going to show you how to uninstall Cheat Breaker and all of its features, just in case you're worried. Now it's a bit of a complicated process, they don't exactly make it easy to uninstall. There's tons of hidden files that you're going to have to delete and a bunch of system changes you're going to have to make. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is turn off your computer. Cheat Breaker runs a multitude of back-end processes that prevent you from completely uninstalling it, so the only way to stop them is by turning off your PC entirely. Once you have it off, Cheat Breaker might sense that you're attempting to get rid of it. At this point, you'll receive a text from J-Hold asking what you're doing. Just ignore the text and continue the removal process. You're going to need some rubber gloves for the next part. Since j Holt is on to you, he's going to do anything in his power to prevent you from uninstalling. The gloves will protect your hands from any electrical surges he might send through your computer. Close the lid and unplug your computer. Turn your computer on its back and remove the battery pack. Doing this will prevent electrical shock. You might notice a small piece of paper hidden under your battery pack when you remove it. This is actually a map to j Holt's treasure. Now what is j Holt's treasure and why does it matter? Well j Holt's treasure is what gives Cheat Breaker power on your computer. It's the life force of Cheat Breaker. And when you seize j Holt's treasure, you'll weaken Cheat Breaker, allowing you to successfully destroy it from your computer. Now j Holt would very much like to get his hands on this treasure, but fortunately for us, it's actually stored on your computer, and he won't be able to access it as long as your computer's off. Now to find the treasure, you'll need to follow the map, turn over your computer, and unscrew the baseboard. At this point, it should be safe to remove your gloves. Carefully remove the baseboard exposing the components of your computer. Place the map on the components like so. Make sure the map is centered and that the top of the map is facing in the direction that the battery pack used to be. Every computer and treasure map is going to be different, but the method should be the same. The component underneath the X on the map is where j Holt's treasure is buried. This component is the heart of Cheat Breaker. It's where all of the Cheat Breaker files are stored. Carefully remove it to reveal j Holt's treasure. As you can see, j Holt's treasure is indeed a Bitcoin. Cheat Breaker has actually been mining Bitcoin on your computer as long as you've had it, and this is where it's stored. j Holt actually intended to retrieve his treasure at a later date, but thankfully we got to it first. Carefully store your new Bitcoin in a safe spot until it's no longer worthless. Now that j Holt's treasure has been removed, Cheat Breaker is very weak. It can finally be killed. You'll need a wooden stake for this. Using a hammer, drive the stake into the center of the heart of Cheat Breaker. You'll know that you've done it correctly when the heart starts bleeding. Continue to strike the stake until the bleeding stops. This usually takes around 3-5 to five minutes. If you find that the bleeding doesn't stop within that time, I recommend dousing the heart with holy water. Holy water acts as a natural coagulant. You can find some at your local church. Alright, now that we've successfully destroyed the heart of Cheat Breaker, we can safely install the component back in your computer. Leave the blood on the component as a warning to any future malicious software. Now there's just one final step in the uninstallation process. Believe it or not, Archibot uncovered some code in the Cheat Breaker client that allows j Hall to access your webcam. So we're going to need to open up the webcam of this computer to remove the remaining elements of Cheat Breaker. Find the screws that hold together your screen and carefully remove them. Find the seam of the monitor where the webcam is located and very, very carefully open the casing to the monitor. As you can see, there was in fact an eyeball hiding just behind the lens of the webcam. If we unfold this eyeball, lo and behold, there's j Hall. There's no telling how long he's been watching through that camera, but it's a good thing that we got him out before he was able to do any permanent damage to your computer. Now you're definitely going to want to burn him, light him carefully, and use your computer to seal his charred remains. Make sure not to inhale the smoke, it's very toxic. And with one final cry from Jay Holt, What, are you going to put this on YouTube? you've successfully uninstalled Cheat Breaker from your computer. Like I said, they don't make it easy. Gotta give a huge thanks to my pal Robin for loaning me his laptop for this video. I'm really happy I could get Cheat Breaker uninstalled for you, buddy. Your computer's in good shape now. This video is brought to you by our sponsor, MineHQ. I mean, mass drop. If you're still afraid that Cheat Breaker is living on your computer, slowly gaining strength for its revenge, then the AKG M220 Studio headphones will set your mind at ease. These headphones provide such high audio quality that you'll be able to hear the ghost of j Holt mourning over his lost treasure. Ghosts can't hurt people. You can rest assured that Cheat Breaker has been vanquished from your computer. When you hear the sound, well, I gotta transfer money into my fucking checking account so I can buy this other thing and take you out. This is, in fact, the only way to know if Cheat Breaker has successfully been uninstalled. So get yourself a pair of these for $10 off at the link in the description. Mass drop has been amazing enough to sponsor my last few videos so huge thanks to them. I wouldn't be promoting their products if I didn't think they were quality, so definitely check these out. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, go ahead and check out this one. It's how to fake a Minecraft screenshot, one of my many valuable contributions to this community. Subscribe today, become an asshole, and as always, keep it fresh. This video was actually just an excuse to break a computer.